When Jesus was born, he didn't just come out of nowhere. He came from a family, just like yours. In fact, that's what we will be looking at today in the Bible, where we read a list of names of where Jesus' family came from. It tells us the name of Joseph, Jesus' earthly father, and Joseph's father, and Joseph's grandfather, and great-grandfather, and great-great-grandfather, and great-great-great, and so on and so on, all the way back through the entire story of the Bible, showing us this chain of people out of which came Jesus and his family. And part of the purpose of telling us those names is first to tell us that Jesus comes from a family, but also to show us God's faithful promise to bring Jesus to this world had been at work all through the years through the whole story of the Bible from one generation to the next. In other words, from one parent to a child, to the next child, to the next child, all through the years, through the whole story of the Bible, God's faithful promise has been at work to bring Jesus to the world. So to help us remember that story, I have here an experiment that I've set up that you can do at home. It involves some glasses uh, with different colors of water, just using food coloring, and every other glass this glass is full, this one is empty, full, empty, full, empty. And I want you to watch what happens when I create a bridge using paper towels between the glasses. And how the water will actually begin to travel from one cup to another and make a kind of rainbow bridge. Just like God is faithful and at work in our lives, and it was at work across the years to bring Jesus to this world, God is at work in your family and in where you come from, and God is at work taking care of you in whatever way you need. So let's watch for a while and see what happens. You notice it kind of looks like the colors of a rainbow. And the glasses that used to be empty have now risen up to be full at the same level as all the other glasses. That's because of something called capillary action, where the paper towel uh, works almost like a straw, sucking the water up all the way through. And because of that, each of the glasses has become full at the same level. I left this here for a couple days, actually, and this is how it eventually turned out. So this is kind of a cool experiment you can try at home, and it's a reminder to us of how God's faithful promises were at work from one generation to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next, all the way until God brought Jesus into the world. And God's faithful promises are at work in your life and in your family, too. Let's take a moment and pray. Dear God, thank you for Jesus. Thank you for his family that is just like ours. Thank you for your faithful promises, for the colors of the rainbow that remind us of your promises. Thank you for Jesus who comes to us in our lives today. In Jesus' name, amen.